Hey everyone, it's Darby from Blue Television Games, and today we'll be looking at a maker game called Legend Maker. In this game, you can create your own Zelda-style game. In addition to making, you'll be able to share and play others' games as well. It's currently in development, but you can download a free demo, which sadly you cannot save or load in the free demo, but if you're willing to pay five bucks, you'll unlock the current version of the game, be able to save and load, and you'll also get access to the finished game when it releases. In a time lapse, I'm going to take about an hour to build a level without really knowing what I'm doing and see what I can come up with in a short amount of time. And then in real time, we will play test my creation and hope it's decent. I'll put a link in the description to where you can buy or try the demo. If you enjoy the video, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you know when I release new videos. Also, leave me a comment and let me know if you like my creation and what you thought of Legend Maker. All right, let's get started. All right, guys, quick note. I found out after I recorded all of this, I cropped off the top of the screen just a little bit, but pretty much everything's there. So just ignore my screw up. Here we go. All right, now we're going to check out my creation. Sadly, I didn't get to play test this as much as I wanted. I really wanted to keep myself to just one hour to make this, but this shows what you can do. These first two rooms, I wanted to be pretty simple. So you just push some blocks out of the way and we find our sword. Awesome. There will be NPCs and stuff added later, so it'll be a little bit easier to make a story. Here's our first enemy we encounter, these little red blob guys. Uh, to get through the door, we need a key, so you'll have to shatter these to find a key. And there it is. Awesome. Keep in mind, we might see some bugs when we're doing this. This game is still in development. Hopefully we won't encounter any, but, uh, you know, maker games, people are bound to break them, especially in early development mode. All right, so we can't get through here. All these statues are blocking our way. We find the frog leg. With the frog leg, we can now jump, which is really cool. Uh, you can add some platforming to your adventure games. Now we need to see what's in these. Okay, hop over here. And we get a couple enemies that attack us once we get near them. We also get the wand. The wand allows us to switch places with enemies. So hopefully my puzzle coming up will work with that. Uh, let's keep the sword and the frog leg. All right, found some bombs. 
So if you look closely, you can see a crack in the wall. Just Zelda style here. We'll blow up the wall so we can get through the secret passage. And we will stick with sword and wand for now, I guess. I don't know. Now we have these spikes that pop up. And I found out through playtesting, you can get through about four squares before they'll pop back up. So here we have it pretty easy. I wanted to prepare you for the next room where we have to get past four at a time, just in time. You can barely make it to the safe spots. So we get past all the spikes, shatter this, we get the key we'll need to the next room. If you're willing to fight this knight down here, you'll get a little surprise in the chest though. And we get a boomerang, awesome. The boomerang will stun enemies just like in The Legend of Zelda. So it can be a useful item. I didn't really prepare this to be used much. But, you know, I was just having fun trying all the different items. And we got spiked twice. Awesome, we're about to die. All right. Well, we died. Dang it! <laughs> but the good thing is, is if you die, you get the sweet little continue screen. You start right where you left off. I don't know if in the final version you'll get to decide, like, if you start at the beginning of the dungeon or the room you left in. So these little tiles are lava tiles. So if we use the frog leg, that's why we jump over that. I'd like to see some new lava tiles. Those ones don't quite say lava to me. All right, so this wand is supposed to switch places with enemies. It's not really working very well for me. Oh, there we go. Cool, it worked that time. Uh, so once that's refined a little, I think that could be really cool for some puzzles to get by uh, something, some sort of obstacle you couldn't get by without switching places with the enemy. This room, I accidentally didn't put torches in, but it looks kind of cool being all dark here. It kind of shows you the lighting system a little bit. All right, once we kill the fire guy, we get a heart and the key we need to get into the next dungeon. So I'd like to see the feature added where you defeat all the enemies to unlock a door. I think that would be really cool. This room, I wanted you to use the frog leg and kind of hop in the little squares, checkers style, sort of, to collect the two keys we need to get to the next area. Oops. Okay, well, the sad thing is when you collect the key, it stops you in your tracks and you get hit by the lava, which is no good. Oh, well. Playtesting. We just didn't really do it. Oh, well. Into the locked door. And I have not tried out this room. Okay, these things really shoot fire at you fast. This is not a good situation for uh, not Link, whoever this character is. It's definitely not Link, though. He just looks a little bit like Link. All right, through the locked door. Uh, we're dead again, dang it! All right, continue, continue, continue. All right, we can shatter those. Head into the next room. Now I made a really, and I mean really simple block pushing puzzle. So in Legend Maker, these blocks, you can only push them once. So with that, I made the simplest block pushing puzzle ever. Now, I haven't tested this out, so I don't know how it's gonna work, but what I wanted to do was have these different switch blocks uh, blocking you from getting to the exit, and then hopefully the red switches popping up to block the fire from killing us. I'm not sure if any of this is gonna work, and now we're stuck in the wall. So this is the kind of stuff you might see when you play this, as I said before, it's still in development. Maybe we can get out of here somehow. Oh, I thought we got out. Okay, there we go. The switch place wand thing worked. Now let's kill this little hoppy guy who's kicking the crap out of me. Uh, and I noticed the enemies go behind those weird lava tiles. I think those lava tiles, if it were up to me, I would say I would change those to something that looked a, more, a little more like lava. And it seems like they're kind of glitchy. So, you know, this is something he's probably still working on. And we died again, but, you know, we got continues for days. So who cares? Let's kill these eyeball bat things and figure out how the switch works. I don't really know for sure. We're smacking it. Did it make the yellow things go down? No, it didn't. Hmm. What if we smack it again? And we're dead. Dang it. I don't know how to get these to go down. Uh, I don't think they're supposed to work that way, are they? It seemed like I attacked them and they went down. I don't really know. And let's see if the red blocks actually block these guys from hurting us. They don't. So that, that whole room's kind of broken. And here's our final room. Since we don't have any NPCs or any way to do dialogue, we just run around here and collect some uh, gems and we're good to go. Sweet. Now we'll just do a little dance. 
uh, you know, there's no way to really make an ending here. All right, guys, that is the short little level that I came up with. Once again, let me know what you thought of my creation and of course of Legend Maker in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Also be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll know when new videos release and also live streams. You can follow me on Twitter and join the BTG Discord. I always announce new videos and live streams there as well. All those will be in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, I'll see you around.